Hey guys, how are we all doing today? My name is, of course, Mario, and welcome back to another Transforming a Minecraft Village. So, today, we're gonna be doing the Butcher's Shop, as you can see here. I should have done, like, one of those B-rolls where we had it before and after, but, you know, I forgot to record it before I transformed it into this lovely building here. So, I don't want to give away too much of what's inside, but hopefully you guys are all doing really well today. I'm doing really awesome, actually. Today was actually... Uh, Minecon Earth, if you don't know what that is, it's pretty much just a normal year's uh, Minecraft convention except the live stream. That way, anyone from around the world with internet access can literally join in, participate, and whatnot. Uh, so, they didn't even do like a QA session or anything. Uh, they had like um, the coolest thing this year was they let you vote for a mob to be added in the next update. So, that's super awesome. I did wanted Mob C to be voted in, which is like a enchantment add and remover mob, which seemed really cute and awesome. But uh, Mob B did end up getting uh, voted in, which is like a giant stingray, manta ray thing that flies around. So yeah, let me know what you guys voted for and what you want to see in the next update. But yeah, uh, I need to stop talking and get on with the video. So, so guys, guys we once again, we're starting with our vanilla butcher's house. This village didn't actually have one, so I had to make one on my own on stream. Uh, but yeah, this footage is from like a week ago doing the voiceover now So starting with the framework I decided to push everything back one block like the entirety of the house So I put two of the main pillars back one just so we can have some more space in the front for details and Still have enough room for the path and also I decided to change it up with this house and make the floor one block raised Just to add some variety. So I added a stair going up into the house Started with some foundations and added a few more uh, logs for the framework. Then I started with the main window. So this is like a really opening shop. So I decided to have a big two by three window showing off things inside and just a nice view um, outside as well. So I then decided to just add some detailings in the front just for uh, like a base facade to see what I wanted the whole build to look like so I added in uh, my main detailing point the overhang added in some uh, foundations and of course the little windowsill and then coming around back here uh, I decided to tear down the rest of the house start adding in some more framework so now I decided to work on the left side of the house so I added in a little bit more foundation and this side I just wanted to keep it simple so I added two one by two normal sized windows and of course it was a little bit plain so I had to add uh, some oak wood mixed in like all my other builds and uh, here I plot out a small chimney space fill in the floor the rest of the way and you see me use this detail with like a log and a trap door on it I actually learned that technique from uh, System Z one of my inspirations so yeah shout out to you um, and then coming around back here I decided to add a little outdoor area for the butcher shop so I have a rough fence plotted out with some logs in between with the trap doors on it again so I complete the framework here and then for the back of the house I wanted to keep it more open and exposed so a butcher could easily come back uh, grab some meat that was like hanging drying you know getting that nice flavor so I what I settled on was just having like an open area where you could access it like an easy back door and then we had a normal wall area so going on with the roof this was actually a lot easier to do than I thought it would so I decided to just start off with some spice you know I added a roof peak right at the front of the house to keep it interesting and I wanted to have like a normal peaked roof, but then uh, it just looked really bland. So I added some variation with that full block, as you can see. Not a completely like super steep roof, but it's quite nice. So I decided to just fill in the whole thing with stern brick to start off with. Um, added in some more framework to help it keep it supported. And coming around back, I decided to just extend the chimney out and over to just start off with. Um, made it a little bit thicker and of course I'm gonna be working on that later as well added some smoke once again and uh, then I decided that the roof looked really bland just with stone so I added in like a frame of spruce which is kind of flipped from all my other houses but it did end up looking quite nice so stone brick with a spruce border for roofs this is a thumbs up for me I'm just saying it's nice I decided to just add a little bit of cobblestone into the roof to start off with and then I decided oh I'll do that later so I'm um, heading around back here I wanted to make sort of an overhang connecting from the roof to like the back fence area 
Um, this is pretty much for just meat to dry once again um, to sort of develop flavor. Uh, but yeah, we would it'd be logical to have like an overhang in case it rains. You don't want your meat getting soggy and gross. So I just had like a rough overhang made with spruce and oak, similar to our blacksmith one. Um, and then this technique was really strange, but if you use your imagination, you can actually just see like meat with ribs hanging. Um, and yeah, I got that technique from some Reddit user. I'll link him in the description if I can find it. But yeah, that's super cool. And decided to just wrap up uh, most of the exterior by completing the chimney here. So finishing off that last wall and yeah. So now it's time to move on to the interior. So I wanted your standard just like big butcher station you see with the moment you walk in with that meat chopping station so sort of have a countertop and inside we have another counter with like a piece of meat on the block and a sword because we don't have knives really like a big butcher cleaver thing added some seats for people to you know uh just chill and uh, i decided to add some more log uh for infrastructure but yeah moving up top here um of course we need an attic for our shop owners to sleep in pretty much with every single one of these houses or buildings but on the inside we got some windows of course for the roof and uh your standard thing i wanted to go with more of a blue theme because every other house i went with just the red bed so i had some different blue carpets spread around um nice bedside table of course went with the blue orchid for this one and you know your standard bookshelves and chests uh, cobwebs all spread around so now as you can see the builds already looking fantastic so I wanted to add some finishing details here so I went back to the roof adding in some cobble slabs um, just sort of like some crenellations I don't think that's what they're called but like the dips in the roof you know like rain hits it the stones are kind of chipped away um, so they're like cobblestones you really got to use your imagination for this type of thing uh, but yeah it made it look pretty realistic and quite nice so i added my detailing for the window again on the outside uh just like a little overhang over the windows and some more foundations towards the bottom and coming around to the front of course i added in the signature azure bluettes at the front of the house in those pots uh so that's pretty much our final build guys i really hope you guys did enjoy this one um i think this might have been the best build that turned out if i'm to be honest with you guys um again we are using the b00 pack so i wanted to add like some crates in the back but the textures weren't working during the live stream and if you guys forgot i am doing these live now like you guys giving me live feedback while in the live stream is really helpful so i really enjoyed that and just a final run through things look pretty nice um with all these builds in the end, I want to add like some finishing details. And again, we really got to wrap up this series. It's almost been a year now, so I'm going to try to do these a little more often and just wrap it up. So our next one's going to be the church and then our finishing episode with some farms, pads, and the well, of course. So that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Goodbye.